Hey everybody. Doctor Incompetent here and let's play some No Man's Sky. Well, I would have to say that something pretty hilarious has just happened. And that is that I thought when I installed No Man's Sky onto my PlayStation 5 and updated it, I thought I was good to go. Little did I know that there was a separate file I had to purchase for free and then download, which is the PS5 version of the game. So I'm still actually not running the completely tricked out PS5 version. What I am getting instead is um, increased load times, I believe. Or, I'm sorry, faster load times, decreased load times, and some other perks, but um, not the the full uh, shebang. So I'm really excited to see what that is like. In every universe, Corvax Convergence crave non-compliant, not a shell. I would be murdered, traveler friend. Nada must resist. Nada likes who Nada is. Sure. Um, okay, I was just looking at this quest. Oh, there's another person who has not changed their appearance and looks just like me. And that's a little upsetting. That means, like, I need to alter my own appearance at some point. I was just trying to finish that quest there. But apparently I have already done what I can. So my job... Um, you know what? The easiest way to do to get back to what I was doing is to just take the teleporter instead of hopping in my ship and just flying around. So let's just go over and teleport back home. I'm going to change my quest, actually, um, and just do this exploration guide quest to set something um, as... A quest itself. Um, but maybe I should do the base computer archives. I'm going back to my base regardless. I have a lot more money that I want to make. What's up, dude? Can can I teleport or do I... Oh, no, I need to go probably up to the teleporter, right? Um, let's see how this works. Yeah. Man, it's kind of scary when you get up close to it like that. It's gigantic. Um, so how about you take it, me to my base and um, let's warp here. Thank you so much. And boom. I stepped into the light. And this is a testament to the fact that I don't have the right version because this isn't really a decreased load time. Um, from what I understand, it's supposed to be just a few seconds. Um, I don't know if that was just how it was advertised, but a lot of my other PS5 games, Demon Souls, Spider-Man, they load between zones so quickly. I know that the code might be different. There might be more demands in a game like this. Um, but it's supposed to be faster than what we're seeing here, which is, you know, about a minute or so. All right. So we're home. Man, let me take a look at the base computer and see how it's going. Automated recovery in process. Beauty bobbity. Data recovered, 32%. New data available. Um, let's search the archives. And they came up from surrounded, back above ground now, but sure, they're following me. Should have never touched the eggs. Yeah, I touched the eggs a lot, too. Um, let's, let's check out these blueprints. Exosuit technology data extracted, downloading plans. Personal upgrade module synthesized from data scraps. Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning defragmentation of next segment. Okay. So what did we get? We got a movement module. Well, 
you know I love movement modules. It's like my favorite thing. So let me go over to my exosuit. And um, this will be our fourth one if I install this, which of course I will. It's only grade C, um, but I'm going to install it anyway. And what does this mean? Overloaded. Too many upgrades installed in the movement system. Remove surplus upgrades to restore device functionality. So I need to like pick which ones are the best ones. 141, 108 is bad, but it says print distance 10. All right. And then this is this gives me better jet tanks, uh, jet tanks. But then this gives me increased sprint recovery time by by a little bit. But I'm going to dismantle this one actually because I like the be just having more jet packs. So there we go. You can have four, I believe. Um, Now, I don't know if it does anything if you put them all next to each other and they, like, glow yellow or if that's just for decoration. But now I've got all my movement down here. Um, I'm going to put this up here and see if these glow. No, they don't really, but that's fine. All right, so another thing that I need to do is start... Oh, and I even have another movement <laughs> thing over here. I forgot about this. Goodness gracious. All right, let me put this in the general section um, here. And then... Oh, interesting. So you can have more movement if it's in a different part of my backpack. So I can have four here, but I can actually have another one here in the technology section. That's really cool. Wow. So I'm getting the just benefit of... A bunch. God, that sun glare is so beautiful. I really, really am excited to download the PS5 version and then really see what it looks like. Um, all right. So, anywho, let me just hop into my ship. Which is parked at a very precarious angle, but that's okay. And our lunch... Uh, Launch thrusters have now been emptied. Let me see if I have anything to empty, uh, fill up our launch thruster. No, I don't. I need to build starship stuff. Okay, so we'll do that. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to head out a little bit. I'm going to check out what what is this purple? No, no, no. Let's go towards this. I'm going to just pretend like I'm going to use my little guidance. Like kind of tracking radar thing. Oh, no, that's just the planet, isn't it? That's not anything else. Okay. Let me then use my scanner and stop and see what shows up. Okay, so uh, I've already been this way. You can tell because this is illuminated, that knowledge stone there. So let me go a little bit further. Let's see if I've been to this unknown building. What I always want to do when I'm exploring my home area to get resources, make money, is just make sure that I'm venturing far enough away from my main base to not repeat tracks. And this looks like I've already done this um, because all of these knowledge stones I've seen. So I'm going to keep flying this direction. I wonder if, if this is money making, like harvesting that um, resource there. I don't know. Here's a uh, a little place here where I could land, and I think I actually probably have landed here. Yeah, that looks like a hole that I dug. All right, so very good. And did I get this? Actually, it looks like I didn't get that. Let me look around, see what's going on here. See if there's anything worth checking out. All right. Yeah, I can see stuff on my immediate scanner. Wow. It's much more um, filled with information than it used to be. And I wonder if... I'm a noob at this, but... Uh, oh, here's a big resource pile. 
interesting. Now, what I'm wondering is if the cube is illuminated on my screen, if that means I've done it, and then if it's kind of like faded, if that means it's new to me. I'm, uh, you know, I have so much to learn about this game. So I'm going to just try to figure things out through experimentation here. Ah, oh, there's a giant crystal. Alright, let me use my scanner. And look around here. See if there's anything... that I want to get. Okay. No, no. Here's an underground cave system. Let me go over here. Oh boy, I bonked something. That's weird. You can see the rocks kind of like settling down um, as the terrain is built. I'm just going to land here next to this stone. Okay. And let's learn a new word, first and foremost. While well, we learned the Gek word for hello, that seems like an important one. Alright, and we need to start crafting some fuel. So, let's make one. Oh, and I have enough stuff just on me to make this pretty easily. How many can I make? Oh, I need uh, 30 dihydrogen. Well, that's pretty easy. Or is it? I wanna, Next time I'm at a shop, I'm going to see if I can either buy dihydrogen or fuel um, and just kind of speed up this whole process. Oh, there's a... Uh, there's a knowledge stone right there. Huh, we got the Gek word for here. So we're going to be speaking... Fully fledged Gek pretty soon, which feels pretty good. This is um, paraffinium, which I actually need for some stuff. I think. I don't know. I thought I saw that listed, but maybe not. Let's just gather some of this. My backpack is full, though. Um, so let me let me just discard these creature pellets. Those are completely non-necessary. Um, ah, that's right. Okay. Let me start processing some stuff. Let me look at my refiner. Right? And then... There we go. Let's just keep processing this. Um, I have enough carbon to last for a few decades, it looks like. And then these slots are pretty useless. All right. Let me look around. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh, there's an unknown building. That's kind of cool. Check that out. Let me make sure I get enough uh, dihydrogen to open up a new or craft a new thruster. Wow, there's another knowledge stone over there. Now, it's not immediately displaying on my scanner, but I see it. And my super jet pack will get me there real quick. Mm. 
perfect. Getting a lot of geck words all together. All right, let me head back to my ship. Oop, that didn't do it. There we go. All right, well, we're good. Let's just go ahead and throw in some launch thruster fuel, take off, and I'm gonna head to this abandoned building um, over here and hope that it's not <laughs> the trade facility that I just found. It is, isn't it? Um, this is what happens when you don't get far enough away, but it'll give me the opportunity to make sure whoa look at that that is the first time I've ever seen that happen that looks like a either a ship crashed or like a meteorite hit the earth or a drop pod or something something just fell down and impacted the earth over here I'm really curious if I can find it is this it no it was like a shooting star or something Mm. Anyway, there's a settlement right there, but they're telling me that there's one. It's actually kind of far away. How could I have detected that with my scanner? I don't think so. see two planets in the distance. Pretty amazing. This is a very densely packed system. Oh, wow. I've never been here. This is cool. Well, I love these because you can just easily land. Just line it up. Touch down. All right. I'm going to jump out. And let me see. Uh, that is called I need my Atlas Pass to open this. And there is some stuff over here, so let me just quickly get it. We'll get some nanites, we'll chart the system. Put this on record. The Adrakev Meadows, and then we'll just see what's inside here. Get some navigation data. Um I'll put it in my my exosuit, I suppose. And we got some navigation data and some nanites. Um, and that's always good. Fine. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Projectile ammo. I get it. Um, let me... Uh, I want to start trying to figure out if I can... Oh, this, this is what... One of my fine users was talking about, you can turn this mold into nanite clusters. This is ridiculous. All right, so then let me just put the rest of this in here and get it going and see how many nanite clusters I can get out of mold that I got from slime. All right, I'm going in. Well, there's a access point to the intergalactic exchange here. And there should be some alien. Yes, there's one. Oh, let me see if this is better than what I have. Um, it's A class, which is interesting, but it's a pistol. Let me compare this. So mine is actually better. Um, it mine has more damage potential, and it has. Um, more slots, right? 10 compared to 9. Um, so, yeah, mine has 11, actually. Yeah, mine's better. Interesting. All right. Oh, here's somebody chilling. What's up, dude? How you living? Uh, 
The air around the beaked life form smells foul. It seeps into my exosuit and makes me gag. Noticing my expression, the trader pecks at an element they carry. They break the substance into pieces, then swallow each whole. <coughs> Excuse me. Friend, despair. Get trader something, gek, and I don't know enough. There is a deep gurgle, and the gek emits a gas packet that smells delightful. The creature wipes their empty hands and beams at me with pleasure. Um... Boy, I don't know what to thank this guy with. Um, how about some sodium? The trader nods a curt thank you. They decline to eat my gift, and the scent washes away. My senses return to a dull neutrality. That's too bad. I think I, I think I messed that exchange up, and that happens. That's a consequence of not knowing enough of the language. All right, there's a way out, and here's this dude's little terminal. Let's talk to this guy. Technology merchant. What's up, man? He's got blueprints for crafter, but craftable technology as well as many of the components required to craft them. Sweet. Pleasure to meet friend. I sell skek. I my ba. Okay. Oh, interesting. What components do you sell? Oh, you sell wiring looms. That's actually pretty good. I think I need some You also sell salvage data. Oh, this is a must. I have to have this drop pod, drop pod connection uh, coordinate data. Yes, I, need, I want that. That is worth it big time. Anything else you're selling, my man? He sells quantum computers too, which I know I need for some technology. So I didn't know I could just buy them from this guy. So that's really, really helpful. Um, is there anything I can sell you that I really feel like would benefit me to get rid of? Yeah, you'll buy this for a lot. Here. Um, I think he'll buy this. I'm just going to sell this to open a slot. I really don't need it right now. And then anything on my ship that you're, like, super pumped about. I'm going to sell this silver and this platinum just to scare up some some spaces. Perfect. Thanks, man. All right. So I'm going to go here and... Um, I can use this with my signal booster. And I will. But before I do that, let me just check... Why is it that this is not installed, this laser? What do I need? I need wiring loom. And how many do I need? I need two. Perfect. So I can just buy them from this dude. What's up, my man? I need some wiring looms. How are you living? Yes, I need components, my dude. And I need just some wiring looms. I'll take two. I don't want to take up too much space. And I want to say thank you. And then now I can actually go to my multi-tool and get my mining laser back installed. Um, all right, perfect. Now we've got our advanced mining laser back online, and everything is now caught up on our multi-tool, but we can see what blueprints this guy has. What what you got? What you got? Um, he has a shield lattice, a barrel ionizer, and an aeration membrane. Nothing is super exciting. Um... I pretty much know everything that he has to sell. Uh, I mean, this isn't bad, but no, nah, I think I'm good. All right, well, thanks. I'm glad I got the um, wiring looms taken care of. And now it's just time to scan around the the local area. There we go. And there's a knowledge stone there, so we can just quickly jump over here with our ridiculous jetpack. Pick up this. We got the Gek word for have. That is outstanding. And then now we're going to start looking for uh, ways to make money. 
by getting ourselves some there's a knowledge stone which is great but we're looking for uh, technology salvage technology right um, oh but you know what whoops let me not forget life support systems low huh let's let's charge it up we got so much um, oxygen we're good while I'm here let me use my signal booster And then let me use my coordinate data and find this drop pod. Exosuit upgrade unit detection online. Please suggest. Um, I need to decipher the drop pod coordinate data. And boom. There we go. So that is our new path. 100%. And I'm going to pick up this uh, signal booster put it in our pack hop in our ship let's just take off shall we and explore the great beyond all right now we need to head for this and it's not super far away, but um, if I were to go into the atmosphere, I could get here a lot faster. So this is where you just kind of, ah, I need to fly up a little bit higher. And then, once we get a little bit higher, we can aim at the drop pod and use our pulse drive. Oh, come on now. Well, it doesn't matter. We can still fly so fast outside the atmosphere that we get there faster. I'm going to stay up. I'm going to keep my nose up so I can make this go as fast as possible. You can get faster speeds outside of wind resistance. I need to still keep my nose up. It's I'm, I'm too close to the planet. Let me just get a little bit higher and then let's wheel back around. And what did I do? Pass it. That's all right. Now I'm just right on top of it. So we're just going to fly straight down in a terrifying nosedive. And I'm going to spin just to make this really, really exciting. And then at the last second, we'll just initiate our landing sequence and say thank you for the autopilot. And there it is. All right. So let's try to get ourselves another inventory slot, which is basically one of my favorite things in the game. Inventory slots. The only thing about this is it used to just cost cash. And so you could make money and just buy it and it became successively like more expensive as you went. But this is bad because um, it needs a lot of items like materials. Look at this, 40 nanite clusters. And then I just... I don't think I should have to carry it around, right? It should just give me 40 nanite clusters, right? They disappear into my nanite thing. Let me see if it says it right after the ion battery here. I think it will, but no, it didn't. Anyway, I got 40 nanites. Um, so let's see what this takes. So it wants... Sodium nitrate, oxygen, I have that. Ionized cobalt and antimatter. Okay, so I can get all of this kind of, but I need sodium nitrate. And let me remind myself of where to get this stuff. So luckily, cool thing is you can just go to your catalog, right? And then go into your list of elements and we can find... Um, sodium nitrate and it says uh, it's crafted in a refiner so I, am, I assume I just refined sodium and I can get it so how much sodium do I have on me I have some so let me um, well, I want to split this up how do I do that Uh, 
Um, now I'm sure I can. I just am not understanding it. All right, I'm gonna move it to my here, and then what's it gonna give me? Sodium nitrate. Um, so I'm gonna tell it to stop processing once I get enough. All right, there we go. So I think 30 is enough, but I can't remember exactly what it takes. Maybe it was more than that. Maybe it was like 45. What was? What do you want? 45. Okay, fine. I'll keep refining. We'll just go ahead and turn this on again. And then once I get 45, I'm just going to stop it. Because I, I don't want to lose all my sodium in case I need my hazard protection. Perfect. And then let's just go back in here. Let me take this out of my refiner. All right, and then we can go to this drop pod, and I'm going to repair that part. And then we need ionized cobalt. Um, I probably need just cobalt for that, but I think cobalt is what you get in a cave. Um, and then I need antimatter. And so to craft antimatter, we need chromatic metal. All right, so um, I can do that in my personal refiner. I just need... Uh, well, what does this give you? Honestly, I don't know. It gives you ferrite dust. Okay, well, that's fine. It just, it, it's not good for, uh... Chromatic metal. I need to have actually, um, something like copper or whatever. So let's look around for that. Well, here's a cave. Maybe I can, uh, no, this is just a cliff. This is just a ridge line, but let's go ahead and try to find some cobalt while we're here. What is this? What are these? What you got? What you got? Are you cobalt? No, but it looks like there might be some cobalt over there. Let's go real fast. I think I see some stalagmites. Yes, these guys. Oh man, just decorative, not quite. Now this is it, this is it. Oh, we got an explosive jerk over here, I find. Let's just blow this guy away. He does give you sodium, which is kind of cool. I know it's falling, but we're good now. And we can just scoop up all this cobalt. Scoop it. I feel like they've made the mining beam a little bit more generous with its cooldown. I could be wrong about that, but it feels a lot better to mine than it did in the early days. All right, now I have 92 cobalt. Let me check my personal refiner. Having a personal refiner, by the way, is like a landmark achievement. I'm so happy with it. Let me actually do it this way. I love that you can just be like, hey, here's my cobalt. Let me drop this in here. And then how much ionized cobalt are you going to give me? 46. That's pretty good. Let me just make sure I get enough. And then all I need is antimatter. Um, and so that just takes some chromatic metal. So this is actually... I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to actually have enough to get this upgraded. So I'm getting unreasonably excited about that. Let me look for a, uh, here we go, right here, copper deposit. That's, that might be the closest one. Let me just make sure it is. Oh, no, never mind. That's the closest one, providing that paraffinium can get turned into chromatic metal. Um, it might not be able to, but I want to find out. Remember, I dusted all that. I just sold that paraffinium to that guy. Well, let's just... This is a good amount. Let's find out what this does. So let me go into my refiner. And let me take this back into my backpack. And then let me go over here and just throw in... Some paraffinium. And see what this gives me. Oh, no. It just gives you ferrite dust. Well, that's garbage. Um...
All right, then. Uh, we'll put it in my bag and then put this in my bag. And then we're going to have to go to the copper. And we'll just say shame on you, paraffinium. No, it's really shame on me. Um, but that's okay. We can easily find that copper again. Oh, where'd you go, copper? Oop, I'm going to need to get rid of something. Ion battery. What do you do? Oh, right. You charge hazard protection. Well, I don't think I really need you. No, oh, it makes glass, huh? That's interesting. It takes a lot of it, but whatever. Glass is more useful than a lot of things I have. Ooh, I got a I got a title, The Walker. I am The Walker because I walk around a lot. All right, let's go ahead and get this. Come on now. Man, we're learning some bang up geck words here. Is this the copper? That's cobalt, but that's not what we need. Um, where was that copper? I know there's some around here. Where's my ship? Here it is. Here it is. All right, let's go back to this then. Now, I'm going to leave my ship here and hoof it to this. And you might say, that's insane. And I hear that argument. But my thing is, I've lost track of these um, cargo pods before, even when tagging them. Um, and I don't want that to happen because that's just a shame. I could mount one of these guys and ride them over. There's an argument to be made for that, but I think this is fine. We're almost there. There it is. Looking beautiful. Oh, I, I thought I had surely broken my legs, but nope, it worked out fine. Inventory full, huh? Oh, there's a secondary element that's here. Okay. No problem. All right, so we will actually get rid of this paraffinium because it's not helping us at the moment. Um, how's our ship? Are we, We're out of range for teleport. Okay, um, and how's our cargo? It's oxygen and pure ferrite. That's right, I've got pure ferrite for reasons unknown. Um, Oh, I got no free slots. Okay, I gotta... Oh, I gotta just redo some stuff here. All right, we will just get rid of this, and then... Um... Silicate powder we can just quickly get rid of. And then do this. And how much chromatic metal is this going to give us? 56. Let's just make sure we have enough copper. That's what I'm picking up, by the way, is silicate powder when I miss. And that's fine. Let's just get all the copper we need so we can get this inventory slot. Because I have way more um, upgrades than I should be having responsibly, but I just can't get over how good it is to have this movement speed increase, so I'm, I'm taking it. Oh, that's not the right way to do it. Here we go. Almost home. Running through dangerous plants. Seeing fantastic beasts. Here we go. Oh, hello. All right, now I think we can just about do this. 
Wow. That was some nice jetpack work. I sailed right inside. All right, what do you need? Um, oh, I need some more ionized cobalt. Well, I can do that. Let me... Do I have a slot for... All right, I got to get rid of this. So that I can um, take out the chromatic metal. And then in my starship, I can hopefully craft antimatter. And then in my exosuit... Um, I'm going to put this in my starship. How are you doing, starship? You got two spots? Okay, great. Um, how about... What would you think, starship, about... A whole bunch of cobalt? And then... Do I have enough... Um, I know I need to give you more. Oh, boy, that's embarrassing. Okay, so... Starship, take this... Put it in the refiner. And let's get this done. And then while this is happening, um, I can just take the antimatter and put it in my suit. And I should be able to then talk to this and be like, hey, I've got the antimatter and then repair that. And then. Um, let me just take this out. And then we are hopefully done. Oh, we did it. Now, um, we can put a slot here in the technology screen or in the cargo screen. And you want all of them. And I'm going to do this one. But the cargo screen is also really tempting me. But I just need more regular for now. So I'm going to take it and be really happy that I've got it. And say, an amazing job well done. All right, let's step into the Radiant Pillar and cool off for a moment and then pop out and save the game and everyone we're going to end the episode here so i want to thank you so much for watching this episode of let's play no man's sky i hope you have an excellent evening or day and i'll check you next time take care